With auto pause, we can automatically pause losing ads and then optionally replace them with new ads called draft ads that sit in the queue. So first off, we can filter or select where we want to enable auto pause. We can enable it and then we choose our settings. So we could say, what's the minimum number of ads that must be in the ad group left before we pause an ad? Does it have to have a certain metric loser? Any confidence factors or additional data you want? The losing ad to hit in criteria before it's paused. You could choose to ignore RSA losers and that way you'd only pause ETAs and replace them with ETAs. And then you'll automatically get an email sent to you when ads are paused and replaced. If you don't want those, you can select not to send an email. And then we can save the data. Then once you have auto paused enabled, you can easily modify the settings for just that particular auto pause setting, or you can manage them in bulk. You can enable them, disable them, or modify all the settings at once. The second step is to create draft ads. Now we're going to cover draft ads in another video in detail on how they work. But if you have draft ads and you have auto pause, then you can use this combination to see do you have auto pause enabled? Do you have draft ads in a queue? And then will the draft ad replace the losing ad? So here we have auto pause enabled, we have draft ads, it will be replaced. But here it won't be, we have draft ads but we don't have auto pause enabled, therefore a loser won't be replaced. So by managing your auto pause settings, you can automatically pause losing ad, and this could be any ad type, from ETA, RSA, call only, or DSA ads. So by managing your auto pause, you can automatically pause losing ads based on a criteria, and then have them automatically replaced with new draft ads to automate your workflow for ad testing.